I saw this, I do believe, on the Men in Blazers site uh, on Twitter handle first, and it's everywhere now. The Killers concert last night in, in London that they stopped the concert to watch the end of England beating the <laughs> Netherlands and then went right into Mr. Brightside. That is truly one of the most amazing pop culture moments I've witnessed anywhere on the planet. I'm, that was I'm awesome. Not an, I'm not an England fan, uh, Rich Eisen. Uh, I'm not a Killers fan, but I've got to say I watched that clip. Right. Um, and I teared up watching it. Um, it is so stunningly beautiful. This nation where I was born, this yes. nation where I'm from, they have longed to win a tournament on the men's side since uh, 1966, a fabled year when they won the World Cup on home turf. Um, since then, they've just wasted every opportunity. They've had so much opportunity, so much superiority just frittered away by uh, a self-destruction and a, and just an adoration for national trauma. They are in a final on Sunday. They will play a quite daunting Spain, it has to be said. Um, they've been terrible in this tournament. They have been every single game. They have great players, uh, but they play very conservative, very slow paced, very, I mean, a game of, they play a game of vibes and moments, but those moments have been so ecstatic and they've almost crapped themselves. They've almost self-loathed themselves into this final. And every time they've won, the nation has said, but you're terrible. You're awful to watch when you, you just, you're, you're awful. You're doomed. But no, they have reached the bloody final uh, of the Euros. This, Rich, may be the most English thing that ever English. If they finally win <laughs> this tournament that the nation has longed for, but the nation just says, God, you won. We've dreamt of it, but you were crap. That will be that self-loathing <laughs> in a moment of victory. Maybe the most British thing that's ever British. I was texting with a British friend of mine um, during the um, extra time of uh, England versus Switzerland when it was obvious that there were going to be penalty kicks, which is, you know, the bugaboo of all bugaboos. And I, I texted him right at the end of, after they made all five of their penalty kicks and, you know, stopped the first Swiss one. I'm like, easy peasy. You're in a rocking chair, man. Who knew? You know, it, it is. It is incredible. By right. the way, penalties for decades were yeah. just a dragon that always slayed us. <laughs> yes. We have now slayed uh, that dragon. Right. It's hard to imagine a team that more takes the field between soaring uh, destiny and absolute self-sacrifice and slaughter. Um, every time they kick a ball, Rich, I think of the Rudyard Kipling line, if you can keep your head while all around you are losing theirs and, and blaming it on you. Um, so Godspeed. I don't support England. Nah. Uh, my, my my old man, my father just passed away on July 4th. So I'm back here um, uh, burying him. So I get great pleasure knowing he would have gotten such great pleasure um, out of this whole spectacle. This is a country that's in slight chaos at the moment. Um, but there is a sense of destiny, dare I say, magic about this team. Um, and I would love nothing more, uh, honestly, than on Sunday for them to to experience happiness even of the fleeting time type even of the self-loathing type well roger before i let you go i, I mentioned this off air I'll, I'll say it here on air again I, I lost my dad um in um gosh it's five years now and um coming up in december and so it's a uh, it's a club you don't want to be a part of but um i just wanted to offer my condolences i think we have uh I, you posted a photograph there you are with your dad right there um, just from all of us here, we just send our condolences, but, um, based on the post that I saw, you lived a terrific life and, and, uh, enjoy you guys enjoyed your time together. You're a beautiful human being, Rich to you, uh, to your viewers, save it the time. Mate, mate, ultimately I'll say this, what sports does yep. is allows us to make at its best transcendent cross-generational memories. So many of my happiest memories with my dad, whom I did love, uh, were watching football, by the way, football, when we won football when we lost um it didn't really matter um but all i say to your viewers out there save that every single second watching the sport you love with your family members do not take a second of it for granted catch the rich eisen show every single day on the roku channel 12 to 3 eastern for free